I went to preview a couple of auctions today. They both feature antique tractors. One of them has a little bit for, uh, of something for everybody. The other one has all John Deere. Because the John Deere one closes a day earlier, I'll post it first. So let's see what's there. Here's a John Deere 720, a fairly nice one. They're again a gas, like this one, manifolds cracked. But the tractor's nice and straight. 720 standard on gas there, again a rare tractor. This is a real nice straight tractor, it really is. And, they, and of course these are not overly common, so there you go. Here's a little John Deere 430. This one's got the three-point hitch on it and a mower that comes with it, I think. I don't know if it comes with it or sold separate. It's actually a nice straight little tractor. It's got odd tires though, like these are grippers, but you can put the proper ones on. 430U160955 is the serial number. They, they're, this has got a fairly new battery, so I guess as they're running it, it's got turf tires on it. Nice little tractor. Pretty much everything's right about it, I think. Like this uh, Farm King mower, I think it's sold separate, but I think that's what they're pulling it with is this little guy. Here's a John Deere 530. This one's a wide front one, which is kind of unusual for these guys. The grill is rough, but the rest of the tractor is actually not bad for street. These have 36 inch rears, about 10, 13, 936. That's kind of unusual size. Has a battery sitting there and a battery in it. it. Probably it's probably runnable. It's got a three-point hitch on it. It's got flat top fenders. So there's a nice little John Deere for somebody. Uh, 530-530-3501 is the serial number. So this be an earlier one. There's a little 530 John Deere for somebody. Here's a 620 John Deere. This one's also fairly decent for straight, actually. They got a the, uh, fake flower pot in it. Yeah, it's covered up. Tires are actually decent. It's been sitting outside for a while, but it's still decent. This got eaten out from battery acid, but still a nice straight John Deere for somebody. Needs a little TLC and it'll be a real nice tractor. Somebody uh, convert it to an alternator. So there you go. Here's a John Deere 420C crawler, I believe. It's the little guy. Looks like the tin comes with it and it's got a dozer on it. Someone put corks on it to keep them from side slipping in the winter. Hood comes with it and stuff like, I think the stuff's there to put it together all right. Sales and service party equipment company, Edmonton, Calgary. Yeah, party was a John Deere company dealer for up until the 90s. So they've been around a while now. They're, they of course have been sold out, but they, I don't care for this. They roll, they wore the cut, instead of buying cutting edges, they wore it out to the, they, they, they like replacing frogs on the dozer too, but it is what it is. Still, if you want a little 420C there, there's one right here, so there you go. Here's a John Deere 730. Those grill, it, the grill screens are a tiny bit rough because of the loader, but the rest of the tin's nice and straight. This one's a gasoline model. That's a, a gasoline standard in the 730 is quite rare. 
this tire it's getting a bit rotten all right for most part the, everything's there for it pretty much except I think it's missing uh, it's missing the seat but I think pretty well everything's there in the tack Nice and straight though, it's perfect that way. 18430 Firestone, this one's decent. There's a John Deere 730 gasoline tractor for somebody. Here's a John Deere M. I don't care for the fact that it's been uncovered. I call it a... Tires are good on the back and the front. nice little tractor it's got a it's got it's not a three-point hitch it's what John Deere had at that time uh, that three of the tires are good and this one's not but it's a project tractor for somebody here's a John Deere D a style D it's loose Tires are tired. It'd be 16 930s or 1430. They're probably 1430s. They're that old. Got a farm hand on the back. It's nice and straight, actually. Uh, 178304 is the serial number. It's just this is old. Their farm hand on it, but it's not seized. This tire is definitely serviceable. There's a bee's nest there. They like to make their home under there. And there's a nice John Deere. This, this is definitely, and it comes with a grill and stuff, and it's nice and straight. And it's a decent tractor. Farmhand's got a bale spear. It's got a fork on it, and it's got a dozer with a, a blade with it. So there you go. Here's a Case 2390. This one looks pretty decent. I don't know why he's got the wheels stanced out so wide, but he does. His lug has been cut, but for the most part, these are nice ones. 20.838. Draw bars in good shape. Two remotes. It's missing a battery. I don't know if it runs or not, but looks nice. There you go. Here's another Case 2390. This is another nice tractor. This one's got dual hubs on it. 20.838. This one has a three point and, and two remotes. And the drawbar. Rubber looks good on this one too. Although this 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 uh, lug has been cut the tire is still uh, serviceable definitely the only one battery in this one that's all he must need it's got front end weight still it's a three point hit shots to be expected so there you go he's got some parts for the case tractors here's dual hubs for him here's duals for him there you go Here's an old beam scale. Nice old beam scale. Here's a John Deere uh, power unit. This this is a John Deere M engine, I'm sure of it. I don't know where it comes from, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it is. Here's some parts for a John Deere. Fully cut the flywheel cover and stuff. Some more part this came off of 50. There's some fenders, some flat top fenders for them. Here's some more John Deere parts, a couple of generators, and in there and other stuff. This is a set of John Deere M fenders, and this looks like a joyrider seat. Here's some two cylinder parts. At least that is in at least the head in manifold there it looks like a small one like a the 320 or 420 or something like that here's some parts for a 3020 and something else it's not all 3020 stuff here's an old forge blower and some wheels 
Here's the power hacksaw. That's a few years old. Here's a Massey Ferguson deep tillage cultivator and what they did is they put a bleed on the back of it and they made it so you could just unbolt it. That's kind of neat. Here's a little disc. Don't know what kind this is but it's just small. It's probably going on the back of the John Deere M and here's a little cultivator. Here's a box bleat, here's a little box scraper probably for the 420 or 430 I mean. Here's a John Deere number 5 mower, these just bolt to the back, or these just mount to the back of a tractor. Here's a little potato digger. Look at that. Here's a John Deere number 37 sickle mower. Come, they, they set, they're sending sections where, where, where knives with it. Need the pitman. But it's there, it's missing the cylinder, but it's there anyways. It's a seven footer. These are good little sickle mower. Just needs a little rubber, even air in the tires to be fine. Here's another John Deere number five sickle mower. Got a couple of these, or even three of them. Here, that's a, that, here's a mounted sickle mower, John Deere. Put, here's a John Deere trailing pow, a three bottom. It's missing the trailing wheel though. Here's a mounted three bottom John Deere plow, but it's missing the shears. Here's a John Deere six bottom plow. It's missing the wheels here i don't understand why but it's missing the wheels on each side the tires on each side but seems to be all there and in actually reasonably good condition it it be a i wouldn't be scared of it here's a john deere side delivery rake a vintage one in fact the teeth look all intact on and everything it work again i think Here's a two bomb John Deere plow. Nice little outfit. It comes with the quarters and everything. Here's a sad John Deere 9350 hoe drills. I think about 16 or 20 feet. Here's a nice John Deere disc. It needs a small disc on the end. But other than that, this one's a good field disc. A good heavy one. Well, that was a good sale. Like. If you're into restoring John Deere's, there's definitely something for you there. You had some nice two cylinders there. Like they yeah, they aren't paid they aren't nice and shiny or anything like that, but I think they're all they're all easily runnable, I believe. We'll see what things bring, I guess. The auction closes on Monday. So God bless you. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.